hello youtube people let me show you today a rather well interesting looking watch again design 1695 i haven't bought this watch haven't got it for free either i was selling my cash edifice and one guy offered me to trade into this watch so let's have some fun let's put this watch on the wrist and let's go outside let's see how it looks like in a broad daylight now interesting thing my wrist is just 16.5 centimeters on good day it's 17 centimeters <laughs> but this watch that diameter is 47.4 millimeters which is absolutely crazy but i don't feel any discomfort because lock to lock distance is only 46 0.1 millimeters by my measurements which is just absolutely perfect for my skinny wrist the only discomfort i feel is that this watch feels a little bit heavy and i will give you all measurements and the weight of this watch just check the description you will find everything in the description so i was just sitting here changing the strap because i want to show you how it looks like on a black rubber strap but i just caught myself just sitting and admiring the look of this watch i just sit there and just i do nothing i just look at this watch it's just like wow wow this blue dial it reminds me orient ray 2 the blue dial also just as amazing i mean it just hypnotizes me this look what i see here right now it just hypnotizes me i really hope it comes out nicely on camera because the way it actually looks is just hmm black rubber looks actually very good with this watch wow i just can't st stop looking at this at this dial i just can't stop looking at it this rubber strap is way too long for me so sorry for the excessive end but uh, that's the only one I have at 22 millimeters oh my god I feel hypnotized <laughs> wow bezel feels absolutely wonderful and at least on my example the alignment is absolutely perfect how many clicks i don't know it looks like 120 clicks honestly i couldn't care less how many clicks the bezel has i don't understand how some people care about that i don't care about that at all it feels great it feels really great i wish it would have a little bit more friction but it's great now the crown amazing simply amazing wonderful crown very big very easy to use screws out and in back in place very nicely super nice crown now edges on the on the on the case very nicely finished the bottom edge is very very nicely finished wonderful but the top edge which is next to the bezel is a little bit too sharp for my liking this edge is a little bit too sharp lugs are very nice the back case is very nice how is the loom well i have just charged it in the front of the sun and it's fading out rather quickly it does look impressive initially but it's not holding up very well it's not holding up a little bit disappointing to be honest now another thing which I, which I don't like is the clasp even though half of the clasp is milled but the top of the clasp is just pressed metal and it definitely feels like that the sound it sounds like any other folded metal clasp but the bracelet itself is is all right edges are not too sharp it's fine it's nice okay what are conclusions what's my verdict where are i gonna place this watch on my website thomaswatchreviews.com where i rate watches into different tier lists this watch goes into not bad because it's not a bad watch it has good seiko niche 35a movement it has sapphire crystal it has claimed crazy 300 meters of water resistance the only two major technical downsides are just 
the clasp and rather weak loom but other than that this watch is very interesting a lot of fun thank you for watching have a beautiful day goodbye